Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the Community Resin Profile. When you get a new 3D printer, you must create and set up a profile for these in Lychee Slicer. In some cases, manufacturers may provide some information or even a complete profile, but in most cases you won't have detailed information at the start and this can be quite daunting. You can also start with a default profile provided by us for your printer. However, if you want to get the best out of your machine, you must fine tune the resin profile and that's why we introduced the Community Resin Profile. This feature is the one place where you can find a profile for your resin directly inside the slicer. These profiles are based on the experiences of our community and the feedback they've shared from their print history. These profiles are also available to all users. You just need to know the name of your printer and resin. In the resin slicer, open the resin list by clicking here on the 3D printer button. Add or select the printer of your choice and then click on add a new resin to access the community profiles. By default, the slicer will select the last 3D printer you used you can then filter in the drop down menus by brand, name, and color. You can also filter resin profiles by vertical resolution, speed, or usage data. If you want more info on a profile, you can click here for details. Once you've found the profile you need, click Add Selected Profile to import it locally. Then select the printer to use with this profile and click Copy to finish. Your profile is now ready to use. Note it's not recommended to use a resin profile made for another 3D printer. Each resin profile is made with a specific printer in mind. The light source power, for example, can vary between machines. Changing the exposure time, even if it's the same resin, may affect your print quality or even your success rate. Depending on how many people have the same printer or resin as you, this may lead to finding more or less profiles. If you can't find the exact profile you need, you can also try to find a profile that is close to the one you need. For example, a different color of the same resin. Once you've completed some prints with this new profile, you can help the community in return by liking the profile you used and give the feedback using the print history. You can do this by clicking on history and then on the image of a previous model. Click on the stars to rate your print quality. The print history can also be useful if you want to use a profile you previously printed with. Click here to download it. Check out our other videos on this channel to help you along your 3D printing journey. Our Discord server is also available should you need any additional help. Links are in the description. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.